One of the big benefits of my job is having an opportunity to uh, see lots of different country. On this next video coming up, I'm going to take some specialized pieces of equipment out as I help manage feral hogs and white-tailed deer. I'm seated in a tower stand down in South Texas. There's a lot of deer on this ranch. As a matter of fact, there's too many deer on this ranch. What they've done is they've asked me to come down here and help them with the management of the does. Therefore, I brought a suppressed 308 down here. And the place has also got a lot of pigs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit up here in this stand. If any pigs show up, I'm gonna try to take them out. If any does show up, I'm gonna try to take them out. Come dark. I've got a clip-on Armacite night vision unit. And inside of 10 seconds, I can clip this on the bell of my scope, and I can turn this 308 daytime hunting rifle into a nighttime hunting rifle. So what the intentions are is to hunt for deer and hogs if they come in close enough before the sun sets. Once the sun sets, I'm gonna stay put, and if a hog comes in, I'm gonna use my clip-on Armacite unit right here I'm going to see if I can take out a hog. This ranch has so much game on it, and I'm so happy that I brought a suppressed rifle. Now I've got two hogs right out there, but they're about 100 yards out. I'm shooting subsonic ammo. Subsonic ammo is shooting less than 1,100 feet per second. Consequently, I'm not going to shoot past 75 yards just simply because the bullet does not have the velocity out any further than that to really take down one quickly and ethically. I want to shoot surgically. I want to place it shot perfectly in the brain so they go down instantly. Here comes a pig. Here comes two pigs. lights out and take a look at that the deer are still standing here that's what's so cool about hunting with suppressed equipment now a year ago maybe a little bit more they legalized hunting for big game animals with suppressors in Texas and so that's good right there that pig right there he took one for the high road team and run out of light and so it does not look like I'm gonna have a chance at a doe. I'm gonna get my rifle set up now in the event that a pig comes in after dark. I'll take this clip on unit just like this and it attaches to any rifle scope. So we're gonna stay put about an hour after dark, see if something comes close enough for a shot. South Texas, middle of December, the rut's fixing to get started and the deer start to get real frisky. I mean, saw a lot of bucks this evening, saw a couple of does, but I just didn't have a chance at them. I brought a suppressed rifle because I'm on a management hunt. I'm trying to take does out, but the rancher's giving me the, the uh, approval of his to be able to take out some pigs. So I took this little guy out early, you know, just a uh, precision laser accuracy. I mean, just right in the ear, dropped him. As the sun went down, no does gave me a shot. I put on my clip-on unit, made my arm sight on this rifle here, and I'm telling you what, it just takes it to a different level. I never go hunting in an area that I'm allowed to hunt at night for hogs without taking a clip-on unit with me, and the reason why is it's just so much more fun. At night is when the big guys come out. As you can see, this is a big one. He's probably 125 pounds. But right now, i got to get some help get these guys loaded up and get to work.